So, in Remnant 2, there was a patch that got rid of the Severed Hand scrap glitch. You can't do the Relic Dust with a Severed Hand anymore. It's also, as far as I'm aware, stopping XP being awarded at the bottom of the Chimney Dungeon. Alongside that, they've also stopped the XP farm that players were using in the Feast event in the Great Hall. So, I've done some digging around, and after the patch, if you're on console, this isn't going to work until the patch is released, which should be early next week. But obviously, that means because the patch is out on PC, this is going to work for PC players already. I have managed to find, thanks to the help of Andrew on Discord, I managed to find a glitch and figure out exactly how it works that's going to give you XP, Relic Dust, and Scrap. It's not going to be as much as the other ones were like worth in their value doing the glitches separately or doing the farm separately. So for an example, every time you go into the Feast event, you would get 4,000 XP. Every time you would do the Scrap, you'd get 250 each time you took the Ring off the Severed Hand. And the Relic Dust was a bunch as well. But this combines all of them together. It's just the values are a little bit lower. But this is by far the best you can do. And if you're on PC, you can set up a macro for this. And you can do this whilst you're AFK. So basically what you want to do is make sure that you have Morrow Parish as your role in Losum. There's going to be a bunch of requirements that you have to meet in order to get this started. But when you are in Losum, you want to make it until you get through your first dungeon. So find the doorway that has the exclamation mark above it to show you that's like story progression. Complete your first dungeon. Mine was the Great Sewers in the role where I was testing this out properly. And you are going to come to this massive like house. You have to climb up a ladder to get into it. The checkpoint is called Oracle's Refuge. When you are there, upon entering, you're going to see this quilt laid out on the floor. And this quilt has different patches of it that need to be filled in. And in order to get this to work, you are going to have to have a minimum of six of these patches completed. And basically what you have to do to fill in a patch is complete some of the main bosses. So like killing the Nightweaver is going to class as one of the patches. So it's all the different dungeons and stuff you can do in Losum. But it's not just within one role. If you've played multiple runs of Losum before and you've killed a bunch of bosses and stuff, there could be some patches that are filled out for you. It's basically what you've done in Losum on your entire game save. So what you want to do is go up to the quilt and have a look, and providing you have six or more patches, you are able to do this. If not, go kill some bosses and then come back. Then what you're going to have to do is actually roam around Losum looking for the Dran children. You will be able to find these just literally roaming around and they're going to be like they're not killable or anything like that. What they're going to do is when you get close to them, they're going to start running away. The enemies are unable to kill these as well, but you are going to have to kill the enemies because they will just interfere. They'll just get in your way as you're trying to follow this child. And what you have to do is you have to get this child to go back to the refuge. You need to rescue two children in order for oracle to talk to you so find your first child and what i figured out is as you follow the child there will be a certain point where the child stops and basically lets you interact with it and when you interact with it is going to then return to oracle and this is going to require a little bit of following the child around but once it has returned to oracle it will just go to a point near the refuge and then just disappear so you would like follow it around you'll get the like circle the icon for an npc you'll get that on your mini map as you're chasing the child around interact with it when it stops and when you can then like follow it back to the refuge even if you don't currently have access to the refuge it'll find a little spot outside of the refuge then disappear and that child is rescued and then what you want to do after you have rescued two of the children is go into the refuge and talk to oracle and she's going to use the children's voices like use the voice of the children or whatever and start talking to you and let you know about the quest and what you want to do is exhaust all of that dialogue you'll probably get a relic so a heart that you can use as a reward for completing six of the quilt patches and providing that does happen after you've exhausted all of the dialogue it's going to come up objective complete and uh, yeah, you can rinse and repeat through that. You can just keep getting the same reward for the objective over and over and over again. You'll see it happening in the background. You just keep doing the dialogue. I think it's like four or five skips of the dialogue. Then you click, I should get moving. Then you have to press on PC spacebar twice to go through two more lines of dialogue. Then you click the mouse again to say like, I need to get moving. 
then go back into it and do it all over again. And if you're doing this on Survivor difficulty, I'm not sure about the XP, but you're going to get 100 scrap and you're going to get 15 relic dust. Every single time you do this, you're going to get XP as well. And then I believe if you go up to Apocalypse difficulty, like if you've completed the game before, you're looking to level up your archetypes, get scrap, so on and so forth. If you're on Apocalypse difficulty, I think it's Apocalypse, you're going to get 15 relic dust still. You're going to get 250 XP every single time you like interact with the Oracle when you do the dialogue and stuff. And I believe you're going to get 150 scrap. And it only takes about four seconds to go through it. So within an hour, if you're on one of the highest difficulties, or I mean, even within an hour, if you're on the lowest difficulty, you can probably get close to around 100,000 scrap about 15,000 relic dust and maybe a quarter of a million XP. That's in a single hour. Although if you are on console or if you're not using a macro, it's going to be a lot of clicking and going through the dialogue. It will get boring over time. But if you have a macro set up or you can set up a macro on PC, you can do this AFK and it's going to reward you a lot of goodies. Even if you're not on PC, not using a macro, this is by far at the moment after the patch, the best way to get your hands on relic dust, scrap and XP. So that is the farm and that is exactly how to do it in Remnant 2. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.